Welcome to Animals You Can Put in a Blender and They Would Probably Be Fine. Disclaimer, don't do this. Don't do this. This is not me telling you you can put animals in blenders because you can't. This is just me going, basically talking about animals' interesting regeneration abilities. This is not me saying, go put animals in blenders. At the very least, it's mean. That being said, I think these animals would most likely be fine if you put them in a blender. First up, we have sea sponges. And yes, sea sponges are animals. They're in the phylum Periphera, and they are very, very basic, very, like very not complex animals, but they sure are animals. And I guess a lot of people don't know that, but they are animals, and they are colonial, and they just... This is like a bunch of little, little guys. And there's actually been documented of scientists, for some reason, I'm assuming other than just to be mean, they have run it through a sieve, broken it all apart into its basically individual cells, and it has reformed back together into the sponge that is actually documented. I don't know why they did that, but it was mean, but it is a proven scientific fact, at least with that specific species. So a blender would be fine. Next, we have Planaria flatworms, like my beautiful children, which are unfortunately lo no longer with me, but they regenerate part body parts and they also reproduce, reproduce asexually by using stem cells. They just split and grow new Planaria. And by virtue of them being very small and blenders usually being large, if they were put in a blender, I think they would be fine because they can regenerate themselves if they did happen to get cut. Another type of flatworm, the very invasive and very toxic hammerhead worm, is also a member of, I'm pretty sure, Platyhelminthes, and they would also be fine in a blender if you so choose to put them there. And I would not recommend that, because even while they are invasive, if you put them into a blender, you will get hundreds of species, um, copies of this bad worm. So if you want to get rid of them, you have to dissolve them in acid. Finally, we have the water bear or the tardigrade, and mostly I think these would be fine if you put them in a blender due to the fact that they are very, very small and would probably not have any effect of the blender blades whatsoever due to them not being large enough to get cut by it. I don't know if there's any regeneration abilities in the tardigrade, but they are very hardy and can survive immense pressure, heat, cold, etc. So I think they would do perfectly fine in a blender. That is my analysis of animals you could but should not put in a blender. Thank you for watching.